What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Chase and he's Sky. And today we're reacting to episode 3 and 4 of Ruby the Anime. By the way, we have a Patreon. You should go check it out. We got uncut, unblurred, early reactions. Sorry, Chase. Alright, let's get right into it. Of Ruby. Oh, now you save your spot. Go. I'll see you after the ceremony. Hey, wait. Ah, great. Where am I supposed to find another nice, quirky girl to talk to? Well, you sat <laughs> in the back. <laughs> One right behind him. <laughs> ditched me and I exploded. Yikes, meltdown already? No, I literally exploded a hole in front of the school. And there was some fire and I, I think some ice. Are you being sarcastic? I wish I tripped over some crabby girl's luggage and then she yelled at me and then I sneezed and then I exploded. And <laughs> Bro, then people are peering out of nowhere. Really, really bad and I just wanted her to stop yelling at me. You! Oh god, it's happening again! <laughs> You're lucky we weren't blown off the side of the cliff. Oh my god, you really exploded. It was an accident! <laughs> it was an accident! What's this? The Schnee Dust Company is not responsible for any injuries or damages sustained while operating a Schnee Dust Company product. Although not mandatory, the Schnee family highly encourages their customers to read and familiarize themselves with the Schnee Dust Company application practice in the field. Uh -huh. um, do you really want to start making things up to me? Absolutely. Read this and don't ever speak to me again. Look. Uh, wow. Bro, she was even trying to talk to you. Off on the wrong foot. Why don't you start over and try to be friends, okay? Yeah. Great idea, sis. <clears throat> Hello, Weiss. I'm Ruby. Want to hang out? We could go shopping for school supplies. Yeah, and we can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys like tall, blonde, and scraggly over there. Hmm? Well, really? Bro, what's wrong with Vomit Boy? <laughs> no. <clears throat> I'll... I don't want to talk to you, but I'm going to still brief. stand next to you. Okay. You have traveled here today in search of knowledge to hone your craft and acquire new skills. And when you have finished, you plan to dedicate your life to the protection of the people. She's so hyped. But I look amongst you, <laughs> and all I see is wasted energy, in need of purpose, direction. You assume knowledge will free you of this, but your time at this school will prove that knowledge can only carry you so far. It is up to you to take the first step. You will gather in the ballroom tonight. Tomorrow, your initiation begins. Be ready. You are dismissed. He seemed kind of... off. It's almost like he wasn't even there. I'm a natural blonde, you know. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe he was a hologram the whole time or something. It's like a big slumber party. I don't think that would <laughs> Bro, they'd just, just be jumping though. everywhere. I know I do. <laughs> Okay. What's that? Why are they always roasting him? I promised to tell them all about Beacon and how things are going. Aw, that's so cute. Shut up. I didn't get to take my friends with me to school. It's weird not knowing anyone here. What about John? He's nice. There you go. Plus one friend. That's a hundred percent increase. Pretty sure Weiss counts as a negative friend. Back to zero. There's no such thing as negative friends. You just made one friend and one enemy. True. Look, it's only been one day. <laughs> Trust me, you've got friends all around you. You just haven't met them yet. That girl. You know her? Not really. She saw what happened this morning, but left before I could say anything. Well, now's your chance. Well, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello! I believe you two may know each other. Aren't you that girl that exploded? Uh, yeah. My name's Ruby. But you can just call me Crater. Something tells me she does not like people. Uh, actually, you can just call me Ruby. Okay. What are you doing? Shh, I don't know. Help me. <laughs> so, what's your name? <laughs> Blake. Well, Blake, I'm Yang, Ruby's older sister. I like your bow. Thanks. It goes great with your pajamas. Right. Yang, this is not it. <laughs> walk That's away. Right, don't you think? Yes. It's lovely. Almost as lovely as this book. That I will continue to read. As soon as you leave. Yeah, this girl's a lost cause. What's it about? Wow. Huh? Your book. Does it have a name? Well, it's about a man with two souls. 
each fighting for control over his body. Oh yeah, that's real lovely. I love books. Yang used to read to me every night before bed. Stories of heroes and monsters. They're one of the reasons I want to be a huntress. <laughs> Why is that? Hoping you'll live happily ever after? Well, I'm hoping we all will. As a girl, I wanted to be just like those heroes in the books. As someone who fought for what was right and who protected people who couldn't protect themselves. That's Respect. very ambitious for a child. Unfortunately, the real world isn't the same as a fairy tale. Ruby's built well, different, that's though. That's why we're here. To make it better. Oh, I'm so proud of my baby sister. <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> well, Ruby Yang, it's a what pleasure to- What in the world is going on over here? Don't why are you here? Are trying to sleep? <laughs> oh, not you again! Shh, guys, she's right. People are trying to sleep. Oh, now you're on my side. I was always on your side. Yeah, what's your problem with my sister? She's only trying to be nice. She's a hazard to my health. <sighs> Bro, it's just a roller coaster at, at this moment. <laughs> it is. Not gonna lie, I am kind of liking uh Blake a little bit, even though like she wants to distance herself from like a lot of people and like just mind her own business. Mm -hmm. At least she can be nice to people. I like Weiss. Weiss True. just comes out of nowhere and just bullies Ruby for what? I, I don't talk to you ever again. Stands next to her, stays there. I look. You think that she might be a type of character? That has no friends, but also wants to make friends at the same time, but she doesn't know how to... Or she doesn't have the social skills to do it. And it just comes out mean, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, Blake seems like she's uh, distanced herself from people. Minds her own business. Um, Yang, very ambitious. And Ruby's just... Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of cool that um, she really wants to make a lot of friends, right? Or make some friends. I mean, she has Jean, but Jean's Jean. And... Blake kind of stood up for her in the last episode, and now they're like finally getting to know each other a little, a little bit more. It seems like Blake uh got interested in Ruby when she started to talk about books, like something that they can relate to, mm -hmm. maybe talk about. Friends gotta start somewhere, and why not now? So Sky, I have a theory already. Okay? Yeah, tell me a theory. I think that that book she's really reading about like two souls in one body. I think that's foreshadowing. I think there's gonna be a character like that. You think so? Wait, wait, wait. So, you're talking about Blake's book, right? Guess what? What? The principle is a little bit off. Two souls in one body, two different people in the same body. Mm. Maybe that's why he's looking off, you know what I'm saying? Chase, how do you feel about Weiss? I think she's one of those people that are, like, really strict and, like, by the book and by the rules. So, having someone that's, like, spontaneous and, like, happy and loud and everything is, like, kind of opposite of what she is. Yeah. So, I think they're just going to clash for a while. Yeah, and... I don't know how to put this, but, like, they grew up in two different families. I mean, you know, like, everybody's different, and, like, they have their own different ways of living. They just have mm -hmm. to they just have to get along with each other, like, in real life. Like, you know, if maybe you don't like someone, but you still got to get along with them because it's worthless to fight with someone. So they need to learn how to bypass all of that and just get along with each other. <sighs> man, that man John just, uh, he just has to get roasted for no reason. He's caught in the crossfire. Like what Chase said uh, last video, I did not expect the comedy to be hitting. Although it's just going to be an action-packed show, but there's a lot of comedy and I'm enjoying it so far. Episode 4, Ruby. Let's get right into it. Wake up, lazy bud! <sighs> it's morning, it's morning, it's morning, it's morning! <sighs> Believe we've been at Beacon for a full 24 hours. Not that I thought we'd get kicked out or anything. I mean, you're the perfect student, and I'm well, I'm me. But it's just crazy, you know. We've been friends for what so was that crust? long. Time. Toothpaste. Odds we'd still be together. <laughs> well, not together, together. Not that I'm not saying you're not handsome. You are handsome, but that'd just be weird, right? Right. What was Dude, thinking? she just keeps talking. <laughs> so, I don't think. I Has he even together. said a word to her? Like. Ooh, we should come up with some sort of plan to make sure we end up on the same team together. What if we bribe that master? No, that won't work. He has a school. I know. We'll have some sort of oh my. Like a distress signal. <laughs> Does he have so dual we weapons? Each other in the forest. Can you imitate a sloth? Yeah. Nora. Yes, Ren. I don't think sloths make a lot of noise. That's why it's perfect. No one will suspect we're working together. Come on, Nora. Let's go. But not together. Together. <laughs> Wonder what those two are so worked up about. Oh, who knows? So, 
Oh, you seem awfully chipper this morning. <laughs> yep, no more awkward small talk or getting to know you stuff. Today, I get to let my sweetheart do the talking. <sighs> well, remember, <laughs> you're not the only one going through initiation. If you want to grow up, you're going to have to meet new people and learn to work together. Uh, you sound like dad. Okay, first of all, what does many people have to do with fighting? And secondly, I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. But what about when we okay. fight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll just be on your team or something. Maybe you should try being on someone else's team. My dear sister Yang, are you implying that you do not wish to be on the same team as me? What? No, of course I do. I just thought... Definitely. I don't know, maybe it would help you break out of your shell. What the? I don't need to break out of my shell, that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way I put my gear in locker 636 yesterday. I would have remembered having to count that high. Oh, why does this have to happen today? So, Pira, have you given any thought to whose team you would like to be on? I'm sure everyone must be eager to unite with such a strong, well-known individual, such as yourself. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I was planning on letting the chips fall where they may. Well, I was thinking maybe we could be on a team together. Well, that sounds Denier, bad. Denier, please. Denier, please. Denier. This will be perfect. The smartest girl in class combined with the strongest girl in class. Together, we will be unstoppable. She has a huge ego for no reason, bro. We'll popular. We'll it does. We'll get perfect grades. Nothing could come between us now. You know what else is great? Me, Jean Arc. Nice to meet you. You again? Nice to meet you, Jean. Bro, I'm trying so hard not to laugh. Weiss, couldn't help but over Jean, here. please I'm stop. The other day. Oh, you've got to be kidding. He has me. naked oh, Riz. No, no. <laughs> so, been hearing rumors about teams. <laughs> I was thinking you and me would make a good one. What do you say? Actually, I think the teams are comprised of four students each, so. You don't say. Well, hot stuff. Play your cards right, and maybe you could join up with the winning team. <laughs> this dude's Riz. Oh my you gosh. Have any idea who you were talking to? Not in the slightest, Snow Angel. This is Pira. Hello again. Pira graduated top of her class at Sanctum. Never heard of it. <laughs> She's won the Mistral Regional Tournaments four years in a row. A new record. The what? <laughs> She's on the front of every Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flakes box. <sighs> That's you? They only do that for star athletes and cartoon characters. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Sadly, the cereal isn't very good for you. So, after hearing all of this, do you really think you're in a position to ask her to be on your team? I guess not. Sorry. Actually, Jean, I think you'd make a great leader. No, stop it. Seriously, please stop it. This kind of behavior should not be encouraged. Sounds like Pierre's on board for Team Jean. Spots are filling up quick. Now, I'm not supposed to do this, but maybe I could pull some strings, find a place for you. What do you say? All right, that's a bit too close. Pira, a little help, please? <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. Bro, what? What weapon was that? Oh no. Like a javelin? Like a spear or something? <laughs> oh, it was a spear. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Javelin. Having some trouble there, lady killer? I don't understand. My dad said all women look for is confidence. Where did I go wrong? Snow Angel probably wasn't the best start. Come on, John. Let's go. For years, you have trained to become warriors. And today, your abilities will be evaluated in the Emerald Forest. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard rumors about the assignment of teams. Well, allow us to put an end to your confusion. Each of you will be given teammates. Today. What? <laughs> These teammates will be with you for the rest of your time. So they're assigning them teammates? So it is yeah, we already know which four are getting together, bro. Someone with whom you can work well. That being said, the first person you make eye contact with after landing will be your partner for the next four years. What? Four See, years? I told you. After you've partnered up, make your way to the northern end of the forest. You will meet opposition along the way. Do not hesitate to destroy everything in your path, or you will die. <laughs> wow. You will be monitored and graded for the duration She's just of the war. But our instructors will not intervene. <laughs> you will find an abandoned temple at the end of the path containing several relics. Each pair must choose one and return to the top of the cliff. We will guard that item as well as your standing and grade you appropriately. Are there any questions? Yeah, um, sir. Good. Now, take your positions. John, you can't wow. get a break, bro. He can't. Uh, sir, I've got, um, question 
So this that was cool. landing strategy thing. Uh, wh what is it? You're like dropping us off or something? No. You will be falling. Oh, I see. So, like, did you hand out parachutes for us? No. You will be using your own landing strategy. Uh huh. If I was John, bro, I put the shield underneath me and land on it. So, um, what exactly is a landing strategy? <laughs> <laughs> We got launched. <laughs> please, bro. Please. I was getting excited too. So, Chase, what do you think about that episode so far? <laughs> it's just like a roller coaster every episode. I'm telling you. Barf Boy is killing me, bro. He's killing me. He has zero riz, bro. Zero. <laughs> it's negative riz. Off the start, he threw up, and that was the end of his career. No one took him serious <laughs> after that. That's kind of crazy. So I find it pretty fascinating that we saw like a different side of Weiss a little bit. She's kind of like she's talking to more people, but she's kind of fake and like trying to mm -hmm. use people for her her own advantage. She's like, oh, she's the strongest, but I'm the smartest. <laughs> Akira, I'm just saying, she kind of look. She looks uh really cool, like her personality and her character design, and that the fact that she was like top student is pretty fascinating so mm. i'm excited to see how that goes the two characters in the beginning the character kind of remind me of ruby because she kind of like non-stop talks and like the di dynamic uh between the the guy character and blake i think that they're the same too i feel like it's just like mm. a parallel to each other like one uh ruby talks a lot she talks a lot blake doesn't talk at all he doesn't talk at all and I'm excited for the test that they're going to go into uh, in, in this forest. I want to see what kind of stuff that they're going to gather and fight. Uh, like, I want, I'm interested what to see what they're going to fight against. They said uh, the principal said they, that they could die, which I think that's yeah. cap. There's no way that would, they would allow that. I feel like there's going to be people watching over them and make sure everything's going smooth. I mean, they're supposed to have already had training, though. True. But do you think a school would let that happen, though? I feel like it, there'd be like some overwatch or something. Do, I mean, you're training for life and death stuff. I mean, how else do you train besides getting in life and death situations? I mean, that is true. During this uh, exam, can students fight each other and steal each other's, like, items? And, like, uh, uh, take each other out of the, the competition? Yeah, because there, there are no rules like that. So, I feel like Whis is going to 100% go after Ruby at some point And, like, try to sneak attack her or something. And Ruby's just going to body mm -hmm. her. Ruby is two years younger than them, has that training already, and got recommended by the principal to be in the school. So she has, yeah. she's some type of prodigy, and you can't mess with her. And I'm just saying that her her sister's Yang, Yang's built different. She has those hands for real. If you mess with Ruby, you're gonna get the hands. So I'm interested, right? Because I'm, I'm assuming that Ruby and Blake, or not, not Ruby. Uh, Ruby and Yang are going to be paired up in uh, some type of way during this exam, right? And I feel like Yang is going to fight Kira, and she's uh, and Yang's going to body Kira. I feel like that's going to be like a like an underdog upset kind of thing because we're like having mm -hmm. so much expectations for Kira. I feel like Yang's just going to body her. So they talked about maybe the teams having four people like on a team. Yeah, is it not just going to be them four? Like uh. Uh, Blake, Ruby, Weiss, and Yang. I mean, because the next four years they're gonna be together. That is it true. makes a lot of sense that, that they'd all be together. What, what if there's like two pairs, right? Of uh, of teams, like we got two, two. Mm -hmm. So what if it's like the top two students are paired with the bottom two students and they help each other grow? I mean, it's possible, but it's like it's kind of random. You just jump down there and you create eye contact. Yeah, that's true. I feel bad if forever gets paired up with John, bro. Bro, he's. Quit bagging on my fans, bro. <laughs> he's gonna be so good. Just watch, bro. He's Wait. an underdog. Yeah, he's gonna vomit on people. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited for uh, what's what's uh, coming next. I want to see their abilities. I want to see the characters. I want to see their personalities. I want to see the world. Guess we'll have to find out next time. All right, and there we have it. That was episode three and four of Ruby. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below for more suggestions and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, and see you guys tomorrow.